And now, our feature presentation. He has taught us that the abuse of the woman is an abuse of ourselves. The disrespect of our women is a disrespect of ourselves. The neglect of women is the neglect of ourselves. Our irresponsible behavior towards them is our own irresponsibility to ourselves. How is that so? Because that ill treatment comes back to us in our girls, in our boys, in our children. Look at the society that we live in. Look at the generation that has been produced because of men's disrespect of the women, misunderstanding of her, the abuse of her has come back now. in our generation. So the world has gone to hell and has spiraled downward. Money won't save it. It is a proper knowledge of God and a knowledge of the woman that will bring forth a better condition, a better society, a better home, a better neighborhood, a better community. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us a nation can rise no higher than its woman. When we treat her right, we'll be treating ourselves right. When we respect her, we will be respecting ourselves. And no civilization Listen good, to us as men, we will never earn the respect from others outside of our community until we show respect for ourselves, respect for the woman. Look at the extent of the insanity today. that we can go into homes, rob it of its valuables. And now we have become so sick that we would violate and rape a 70-year-old woman, rape our grandmothers. In New Jersey, a seven-year-old girl raped by five men with the sister of the girl watching. And from what I was told, I didn't read all the articles, correct me if I'm wrong, but she was paid. Now, what has happened to us? We done lost our minds. When you violate a seven-year-old girl, how do you think God is looking at this? What do you think he's going to bring down on a people and on a nation? that violates what is most sacred. She's more sacred than the mosque. Look, look, look. We protect mosque and protect temple and protect synagogue and protect churches. And would not allow anything profane as the minister teaches us, to be said or used against these houses. And we don't realize that the real temple and the real mosque and the real church and the real 
uh, synagogue. It's not only this body, but it is the female. And that's why the sister in her opening remarks reminded us you don't know of a leader and teacher that would name a house of worship after the name of a woman who was the most, is looked at and viewed as the most regarded above all women. Mary or Mariam, the mother of Jesus. And the Quran tells us that Jesus and his mother was made a sign. She is worthy and deserving of better treatment. Is that right? We call her ugly names. And we will fight and kill somebody that maybe would spray graffiti on the walls of Mas Mariam. FOI wouldn't tolerate that, would we? Well, where is the same passion, the same zeal, the same energy when it comes to the disrespect and the violation of our women? If we would kill somebody over paint on a wall, how much more valuable is our women that anybody that would defame her, profane her, offend her, violate her, is, as our leader taught us, deserving of death. You say, you say man, y'all really are fanatical up in here. Yeah, we, we love you, black woman, to death. See? And the law is the law. See, strong law, the way that God set it up. There's no rehabilitation. We, we can understand the circumstances out of which such a deranged mind was produced. But once you violate a woman, that is an act of murder. And the law is a life for a life. And when you murder a woman by violating her, the penalty is death. That's what my leader teacher teaches. We have to put a stop to this madness, or we will never have a better society and a better world. We must, as men, teach our young men on the streets of the sacredness and the beauty and the value of the woman and let them be the warriors and the soldiers that they are to protect the hood and the neighborhood from any deranged, pedophile mind, sick-minded man that comes in to pray upon our women. They should know, it should be a sign, beware. Notice that if you come up in here and do anything to her, you ain't getting out alive. Now, wait, wait, wait. You say that's extreme. No, that's not extreme. See, it's only extreme when you see another mother in pain for what was done to her daughter until it comes into your house and your daughter gets violated. Then you will what? the same penalty and punishment done to that one.
that violated your daughter. Does that make sense?